Why are there so many elves here? The Empress invited them. So this is just the Winter Palace. What's the summer one look like, I wonder? It will take some time to get our men into the palace. I'll alert you when we're ready. I can hardly believe Gaspar and Celine are in the same room. Grand Duchess Florian must have worked a miracle to get them here. I had hoped to tour the Royal Wing Gardens again. I have heard they are the finest in the Empire. But such a pity the wing is sealed. I heard Celine was having the entire wing redecorated. But the timing is atrocious. Why would she do such a thing now? How could the Empress afford to renovate the palace without war going on? I heard that it wasn't renovations at all. The palace was damaged by Gaspar's catapults. He fired on the Winter Palace? That's monstrous. Hmm. Interesting. No idea. The guest wing is not open to the public at this time, Inquisitor. And now presenting Grand Duke Gaspard de Chalon and accompanying him Lord Inquisitor Trevelyan of the Ostwick Circle of Magi. <laughs> Vanquisher of the rebel mages of Ferelden, crusher of the vile apostates of the mage underground. This guy writes better fiction than I do. Champion of the Blessed Andraste herself. <laughs> Did you see their faces? Priceless. Accompanying the Inquisitor, renowned author, Varric Dethrys. Head of Noble House Dethrys, Desh... Cousin, my dear sister. Grand Duke. We are always honored when your presence graces our court. Don't waste my time with pleasantries, Celine. We have business to conclude. We will meet for the negotiations after we have seen to our other guests. Inquisitor? Lord Inquisitor, we welcome you to the Winter Palace. Allow us to present our cousin, the Grand Duchess of Leeds, without whom this gathering would never have been possible. What an unexpected pleasure. I was not aware the Inquisition would be part of our festivities. We will certainly speak later, Inquisitor. Your arrival at court is like a cool wind on a summer's day. Someone here is working for Devinter. To the uninitiated, the court is full of intrigues which might seem sinister, Inquisitor, but they are of little note. How do you find Halam Shiral? You're in danger. End the ball. Send everyone away. Inquisitor, we suspect that our court has overwhelmed you. You may benefit from a glass of wine and some time to recover. No doubt you will find something in the ballroom to entertain you.
Inquisitor, a word when you have a moment. You just know that will end badly. Meaning she's after you to do more work. Josephine! Oh, Josephine! Is this him? <sighs> Inquisitor, please allow me to present to you my younger sister, Yvette Gabriella Montillier. There can never be too many Lady Montilliers in Thedas, can there? <laughs> Inquisitor! I've heard so much about you, but not as much as I want. Josephine writes, but she never tells me anything. Is it true? You and Josephine are going to elope and move to the Anderfels and join the Grey Wardens and fight Darkspawn? Yvette, I want to know. I already packed our bags, didn't I, darling? I knew it! Inquisitor, please give her no more ammunition. I beg you. Which power should the Inquisition throw its weight behind? Selene has held the throne successfully for years. I see no profit in ousting her. Gaspard has run military campaigns, but never a kingdom. His transition would be, let us say, chaotic. Tell me about yourself, Lady Yvette. This is the first time I've encountered any of Josephine's family. She would forget to mention the artists. I've been studying painting under Antiva's royal tutors. You should be proud, Josie. I'm going to be exhibiting my work next season in the city's biggest salon. Have you actually sat down and finished a painting yet? I must wait for my inspiration. And I must wait for your tutor's bills. Enjoying the ball? I see many of them. The dancing is so dull, your worship. But the Empress's gallery is magnificent. Yvette. Sorry, Josie. Go on, Josephine. Half a royal must be empty. So many of the Empire's finest are in attendance. They've noticed the Empress paying you special attention, but they don't quite know how to take advantage of it yet. This uncertainty won't last long, I'm afraid. This may be my only chance to hear about when Josephine was a girl. Oh, yes. As she told you about when she was ten, and... Yvette. Stop. Fine. Uh, what about when we were climbing the cliffs by the... No. She once told the Duke of... Absolutely not. Hmm. She still plays with her doll collection when no one's looking. Yvette. That's absurd. Absolutely preposterous. <laughs> I'll see you later. Another time. Get these pastries out to the diplomats. The Duchess has asked for too many. I can't carry them all. Laurent was the love of my life. You remember my husband? Poor darling. 
Perhaps we can speak later, Inquisitor. Did you please, Inquisitor? Did you need something? The sooner we track down this infiltrator, the better. Do you have any advice? Orlesian social events don't fall within my area of expertise. There are a few here we can trust. Be careful. Who do you think the Inquisition should support? Gaspard's claim to the throne is fair. Orlais needs someone capable of responding to the crisis at hand. A military-minded leader seems the best option. You've attracted a following. Who are all these people? I don't know, but they won't leave me alone. I take it you're not enjoying yourself. At this point, the headache I'm developing is preferable to the company. Have you noticed anything out of the ordinary? Not yet. It would be easier if people would stop talking to me. Other people. Not you. We'll talk later. I await your signal. Is it true the Inquisitor was headed out of the Fade by Andrasti? Is that him? Is it true the Inquisitor was headed out of the Fade by Andrasti? Good. I was hoping I would catch you. What did the Duke say? He points the finger at Ambassador Briala. The Ambassador is up to something, but she can't be our focus. The best place to strike at Selene is from her side. Empress Selene is fascinated by mysticism. Foreseeing the future, speaking with the dead, that sort of rubbish. She has an occult advisor. An apostate who charmed the Empress and key members of the court, as if by magic. I've had dealings with her in the past. She is ruthless and capable of anything. How can Selene openly keep an apostate in the Imperial Court? The Imperial Court has always had an official position for a mage. Before now, it was little better than Court Jester. Vivian was the first to turn that appointment into a source of real political power. When the Circles rebelled, technically every mage became an apostate. The word lost much of its strength. You should have told me this in the war room. I didn't suspect her until we arrived. The last time I was at court, she was merely Celine's pet. No one cared for her. They just enjoyed the drama. Now she has secured powerful friends. It's a very abrupt change. She's worth investigating. Can't be sure of anything here. Both leads point toward the guest wing. It's a promising place to start. I'll coordinate with our spies to see if I can find anything better. I will be in the ballroom if you need me.